Hello, I'm going to talk about William Emson, the new critic or the practical critic of Cambridge and his discussion of the seventh type of ambiguity. <laughs> ambiguity happens when a single word or expression has different meanings, more than one determinate meaning. Now, the simplest type of ambiguity is a metaphor. A metaphor is when two things that are dissimilar or two things with different features are linked. They are said to be similar or alike. And the seventh type of ambiguity, which is most complex, is when there is a fundamental division in the writer's mind. The writer himself is confused. The writer himself is showing two opposite uh, attitudes to the same thing. William Emson explains the seventh type of ambiguity, which shows a fundamental division in the writer's mind. With the help of two poems, he analyzes two poems. One is Gerard Manley Hopkins's famous poem, The Wind Hover, or the, uh, To Christ Our Lord. The second is George Herbert's poem, The Sacrifice. Both these are very religious poems, very spiritual poems. But both these show an ambivalent attitude that the writer has towards his subject. In the Winover, uh, the poet is describing seeing a, a bird, a falcon that hovers in the sky. The falcon has majesty, beauty. The falcon is called a chevalier. So the bird is one of action. And now that is contrasted with the poet's life of inaction, which is not right. Apparently, the poet's uh, apparent theme is that the bird's action and majesty are akin to Christ and they are superior. But at the same time, he is feeling a little ashamed about his own life of inaction and he asserts that a life of hard work, when plow, when plow down silly and shine, when you work hard with your plow, that is when you gash gold vermilion. This is the apparent thing. But in this poem, there is also the hidden meaning or the underlying meaning that the poet is feeling happy about his meekness, about his lack of initiative or about his inaction. Because we should understand that in Christianity, the meek, the powerless, the weak, the people who are suffering are always considered closer to God. Suffering is considered good. I am suffering. God is with me. You know, that is a very Christian idea. So being a Christian, uh, Gerard Banley Hopkins is also valorizing or praising his own suffering and meekness, even though apparently the poem is about the greatness of the uh, action and the majesty of the winover. He is particularly, our Ems, William Emson is particularly pointing at words like buckle, which has a positive meaning as well as a negative meaning in the poem. The next poem, The Sacrifice, is spoken by Jesus Christ. And here he is talking about uh, his own suffering, his own sacrifice as something that is ambivalent. Was ever grief like mine? This is the refrain in the poem. In that refrain, he is actually uh, showing an ambivalence. On the one hand, he is sacrificing his life, his grief, his suffering is good. That is what Christ came to the earth for. He has to suffer. But it is ambivalent because he is also um, a little probably arrogant. He is actually feeling 
indignant he is actually feeling superior to his oppressors to the perpetrators of violence because he is feeling like he is justified by his sacrifice so on the one hand he is sacrificing his life and on the other hand he is slightly feeling proud for his sacrifice so the value of sacrifice is diminished there there is a small heretical element there in that poem if you analyze it analyze it in that manner well according to william emson's reading this poem is ambivalent and george herbert is on the one hand showing that sacrifice with uh complete satisfaction or happiness is what christ is but at the same time that sacrifice also gives him a superiority a feeling of pride or arrogance which actually defeats his sacrifice so that ambivalence shows a division in the poet's mind the poet seems to be of two minds uh if you imagine uh, a a person who is sacrificing and then that person is a mother is sacrificing her happiness for her children and then she is feeling superior because she did it then the value of the sacrifice is gone right so that little uh, ambivalence is coloring these two poems the vinover and the sacrifice and it shows a fundamental division in the poet's mind this is what william emson says in uh, the seventh type of ambiguity i hope that is clear